What's up guys, this is Astronox and in this video we got Batiste, Batiste level 50. I'll be just showcasing him, you know, before he's actually level 60. I'll bring him in my three-man teams, but he has gear. So it's gonna be a four-man setup for Wyvern. It's gonna be Banshee and it's gonna be Asmanac Hunt. I don't know how he's gonna perform. I don't know what kind of damage he's gonna be able to deal. But he's got the two most powerful debuffs in the game. Attack break and defense break. So, yeah, that, that's really good. He's dark, so uh, don't have to uh, worry about elemental disadvantage. I'm rocking Daydream Joker. He's plus 15 skill ups. That's his stats. It's pretty decent. I mean, I worked on getting 100% crit chance and uh, over 200% crit damage because he's got Daydream Joker. Because I want to see how much damage he's going to be able to deal with that thing. So apply the fence break. And Daydream Joker is going to deal quite a bit of damage. But it's going to be mostly for Wyvern. Uh, we'll see how he performs in the other uh, areas, you know. But that's his skills, you know. Decrease hit chance. Uh, decrease attack is extremely powerful. And the thing is... Uh, well, I mean, sorry. It needs to be applied and then he will trigger... A second attack called Rock Smash, but the decreased attack is applied by this passive. Uh, it's 100% chance. Uh, I have 52% effectiveness, so you want to have like 55%, that's the best. Uh, for PvE to counter 70% effect resistance on the, uh, the monsters. So yeah, this thing is pretty sweet and it applies attack uh, break against the enemy with the highest combat. You ask for two turns. I mean, this is going to be happening every time uh, he goes, which is really good. And it's two turns. It's not only one. Now, this thing, uh, yeah, attacks the enemy with a blindingly fast speed. Uh, with blindingly fast speed. When used against an enemy inflicted with decreased attack, decreases defense for two turns. So, this thing's only on a three-turn cooldown, which is very sweet. And uh, yeah, once again, attack break and defense break, uh, the most powerful debuffs for offense and for defense. So uh, yeah, because attack break is uh, cutting the attack by 50%, defense by 70%, roughly like doubling the damage output against this target. So without further ado, let's go into Wyvern 11 and see how it goes down. Now we got, we got the gold buff. So it's time to go crazy. It's time to go crazy. Actually, let's grab a bit more uh, energy from here. Okay. So that's my team. Got Luca, got Seaside Bellona with Angelic Momorancy in the front line. Uh, let's see how it goes. Actually, Seaside should have the. Well, it doesn't really matter if she is like in this position. I don't need to increase the HP of uh, Luluka. Okay. I can't wait to see that damage. I don't know. I, I don't know how uh, he will perform. Damn. What if he just dies? What what if she what if he just dies like on the showcase? But it, it's not the true showcase. It's uh, just like a quick peek into what he can potentially do. I feel like he's probably going to die. But I want to see some numbers. Okay, that, that wasn't so high, but we have to take into consideration it's about Daydream Joker with 100% uh, crit chance. You know, that crit damage is definitely going to increase uh, his damage output with Daydream Joker. It's mostly about that. The speed uh, wasn't so high. Um, okay, here's the rock thing, 3.6k, but there's no defense break on the boss. No, it's not like gain an extra turn. It's just like a like the skill triggers another skill, the rock smash. Okay, here's a uh, the defense break. The thing is, the boss will go more often because we have a dark hero in there. We need ice so we don't give uh, combat trueness to the wyvern. Okay, here we go. Ooh, 11.7k and the... Ooh, that, that's a lot of damage, man. That That's pretty good. That, that's 20k plus together. Now, if we keep the debuffs, which shouldn't be so hard with uh, a decent amount of speed, 
But Wyvern's different because he's able to go more often because we have a dark hero in there. So we need to apply defense break again. Ah, no, didn't happen here. But it definitely dealt quite a bit of damage. It looks like we did miss the attack break with Batiste, which, oh, which is unfortunate. So yeah, uh, Batiste is on attack set with the broken set. It's two pieces of different sets. I wanted to get Unity set going, but I didn't manage to uh, get the stats I wanted. So I just went with the 100% crit chance. As much crit damage as possible. Okay, here it is. Here it is. 11.7 again. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Not bad. This is not bad at all. And uh, Batiste is level 50. It's level 50. Dark hero. I mean, not even ice. And, oh, by the way, Batiste gets 10% crit damage at uh, awa the 6th Awakening. It's uh, I should have actually uh, went on detail on Batiste be faster, but yeah. So here's the Awakening, the 6th one. I do have the materials required, and it's going to be pretty good for increasing his damage. Now, once again, my stats... 172 speed, I, I mean, it, it's not that much. Yeah, it's... Uh, stats, I mean, I I could have gotten better than this. It's just that that's the gear on... Uh, that was on uh, Guider Ether, which I don't really use. You know, plus uh, some gear, some new gear and some gear that I had uh, laying around. I had to swap some pieces, but it's pretty decent. It's pretty decent. Okay, so yeah, Daydream Joker is definitely a big part of it. Now let's see how he actually performs in Banshee. Will he even survive in there? That's the thing. I don't know if he's going to be even surviving in there. So Banshee with Champion Zerato. I feel like he's going to be babysat by Angelic Momrancy. Uh, because he's going to be dropping low. But let's see. Now that that's the thing, though. In uh, as a man, I can't. We uh, we don't have. We do not have an AOE with uh, Batiste, unless. Yeah, I don't know. The Rock Smash is that an AOE? I thought, from what I remember before, I thought it was. Now, we have to remember, we do not have the attack buff. We don't have attack buff on this team. In, uh, we will have it in Azimanak Hundo. Uh, just below 2k. We need defense break, really. No crit there on champion Zerato. He's rocking like 88% crit, something like that. Here he goes. I just see side by herself taking care of business, basically. Look at that, like, man. Can we get a defense break, though? Yeah, definitely not doing so much damage because can't really rely on Daydream Joker when the boss's health is actually quite low. There's gonna be a split fairly soon. The champion Zerato, like, he can almost solo 
Banshee. It's just that it, it's not so reliable with uh, that the debuff that the Banshee applies. There's a pretty high chance that he just straight up dies. I just don't like it. I prefer to run a three-man setup. Yeah, Rock Smash, I'm pr Man, that's a lot of damage. I'm pretty sure Rock Smash is an AoE from what I remember. I could actually turn off my skills, but battle should be done fairly soon. We need to get Batiste some HP. Like and subscribe, guys, if you like uh, this video. Well, it's just an early showcase of Batiste. Like, uh, I feel like, you know, I, I was going to be grinding in there. And... Uh, need to get him to level uh, 60, but... Since I'm doing three-man setups for... You know the hunts then like just a four man for the hunts max level nothing too exciting so just keep him at the you know level 50 well it is a four man because Batiste does have gear just showing the potential of what he could what he can do now here this is definitely gonna be low like between Champion Zerato and Seaside, I feel like it's like half of Seaside's damage. <laughs> Not even. But, look, it's it's pretty close to Champion Zerato, which probably, uh, Champion Zerato didn't, like, he missed some crits sometimes in there, too. Uh, yeah, Seaside is definitely very strong with the cleaving against the, against the adds. Okay, just to check real quick. Man, Batista's uh, skill one, right? The rock smash thing. Yeah, attacks all enemies. That's what I thought. Activates rock smash even when used against enemies. Uh, enemy without decreased attack. Uh, for uh, That's a soul burn for 20 souls. I mean, for PvP, I don't know. Uh, for manual play in raids, I guess. Because I think Batista actually gives quite a bit of morale in raid and I, I have to find a team composition so I can showcase him in there but yeah let me just uh, do uh, let me do uh, as I can't now wrong place okay so we have Charles Charles seaside and you know for the HP from seaside I kind of prefer to give it to Charles because that's the three man that will do the job basically. If I bring Batiste in there and maybe Charles end up, end up dying, you know, I'll just go like this. I'll just go like this. Because I need that dispel. That dispel is quite important in here unless you're killing the boss very quickly. That frenzy will deal so much damage. Uh, my Charles, I mean, I, I could show my gear for the, like, all the the teams involved in here at the end. Yeah, maybe I'll have to show the gear of Batiste again. Because uh, for players that do skip in the video, they're curious about what I'm actually wearing. I only shown his, uh, his stats at the start. Seaside is quite ridiculous. Using her basically in, uh, yeah, that, that's it, in the... All three of the uh, the hunts that I ran, she's there. But it, it's the same with uh, Angelique Momrancy. Very powerful healer. Everyone can get her. Well, eventually, if you're unlucky and you started off not so long ago, I guess uh, you'll eventually get her. Don't worry. As always, you can save your Mystic Medals for the Mystic... If she shows up in a Mystic rotation. Okay. So that's the thing, uh, Batiste does have AoE. Batiste does have AoE with the Rock Smash. So as long as we keep that attack break, which we can apply with Charles as well. So th th that's pretty good. That's pretty good. 
The spell. Got it. Nice. Yeah, he like he needs to trigger Rock Smash if he wants to uh, compete with Charles in terms of damage on that run. Well, eighty-seven thousand uh, HP is—it's not that high. Of course, the Wyvern has, I believe, a hundred twenty thousand HP, so Daydream Joker is going to be uh, doing more there. I do love the fact that. The attack break is con consistently up, which is very good for upping the, uh, upping the team's survival. I mean, it does take a lot of stress uh, off of your uh, healer. I mean, the adds are up, so it's nothing crazy. Now I can't really deal damage to the boss. It's about just killing the adds. The seaside is usually the winner here. Charles, I don't think he was doing too many uh, Elbrus. Oh yeah, that's that was a destruction there. I kind of want to run it again. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to run this one more time. That was way too like one-sided with seaside. I felt like Charles could have done more. He is definitely extremely strong. So we'll run this one more time and then. I'll be showing the the stats and gear of uh, all the heroes that I've used in this uh, in this video. But yeah, Batiste at level 60. I'm curious about uh, his performance. Really 5.6k. Yeah, Angelique Morancy, man, she's a crazy healer, crazy good healer. I want to see the numbers now. Pay more attention to that. 2.9k. Rock smash. Almost 2k. It's nothing crazy, but there's no defense break. Now we got Seaside and Batiste that can apply defense break. 3 turn cooldown on Batiste's uh, defense break. That's not so bad. It lasts 2 turns. So we got Elbrus. And the S2. Basically how Charles is uh, when you face him in PvP, you know, S1 and 2, S2 constantly. Okay, we 3k on the eggs. Nothing insane though, uh, no attack buff yet. Gotta wait for Charles, which uh, actually used the... Uh, did I say attack break? The attack buff. Here we go. Uh, he's definitely gonna be doing more damage on that run from the look of it. Now that's the problem, with this particular team setup, we got the target debuff, we got attack break and defense break. If you apply three debuffs against uh, this boss in Azmanak Hunt, then all debuffs get cleared. So that's, that's an issue, that's an issue, because I could have kept the attack break and the defense break consistently if Seaside wasn't there, but I mean she's a big part of this run because of... The constant cleaving and just the overpowered damage that she dishes out. The enable to be buff debuff is also a pro. I mean, that's the thing. There's, there's too many debuffs. There's too many debuffs. Uh, just the three men set up with Charles and Seaside is already like, uh, you know, it, it's four debuffs. It's just too many debuffs. I want this defense break to stick, and it, it's not. It's not working out. Every time she does the ultimate, it messes things up. It's basically her cleaving the ads most of the time and stealing the show. I definitely want to try uh, Batiste without having Seaside in the group. But I don't know, I feel like I would need some decent survival. I feel like uh, that constant cleaving from her to deal with the ads is quite huge. 
Because the whole team's getting AoE, that means that's four focus to, uh, for her quite easily, and it's happening like so often. You know, Briss, but the eggs are up. It's it's. I mean, it's a. Uh, it's okay. Pretty like big damage reduction on the boss when the uh, the cocoons are up. I'm calling them eggs, but they're actually like small cocoons. It looks like. Uh, wait, that, I think they're eggs actually. I'm confused. Yeah, they actually look like more like eggs. Okay, now this one Charles actually did quite well, so... But Batiste... I don't know. Wasn't so great there. What? Batiste did real good. So I guess those, uh, those rock smash, like... I feel it wasn't that much, but... The thing is, Batiste is running quite a bit of speed. Yeah, that was, uh... A bit more than half of what Seaside did like not bad with the fact that the attack break is being applied uh constantly that, that's pretty solid so let's go back in there let me just show you the the stats and the gear that i have okay batiste that's his stats but like like i said that, that was like i started level 50 now level 51 still room for improvement could have better gear as well so luluka was in uh waiver in 11 that's her skill ups and stats. I do use her in raids. Uh, amazing hero. If I show the gear too quick, you can always pause or have the play speed slow down to like 0.5x. Uh, well, she's running Ethica Scepter. So, I mean, she's not set up for uh, for Wyvern with Daydream Joker. Actually, I got her set up like this for raids. Okay, uh, Seaside Bellona. She's built for PvP. She's at plus 15. Immunity set on her. She's built slow, so I can deal more damage with the passive. Gear is... Uh, yeah, the offense is pretty high on her. She does have some effectiveness as well. So Charles... Zero speed Charles! I'm working on getting him to plus 15. He just needs one more Molagora, and then uh, that's the last skill up. Definitely worthy of being uh, full, um, fully molagora Such a powerful hero that skill 1 and 2 skill 2 especially on Elbrus ritual sword triggers it, it's crazy yeah, especially if you put him on a counter set now that's even more chances for him to go crazy with this of course to increase the chance of the trigger now uh, we do have champion Zerato and he is plus 15 on a lifesteal set I was running chatty artifact on him for uh, making him more uh, well, better survival, more bulky, basically, uh, for PvE, but now I'm running this for PvP, and that's still, all, still on him. So, you have to remember, like, there's no Daydream Joker or, uh, you know, an artifact on him to uh, to help, it, help him deal more damage. So, yeah. So, Batiste, uh, I guess I'll show the gear again. It's plus 15. Of course, like... That's the thing though, Daydream Joker wasn't even on Seaside Bellona, so it's not even like a real comparison of how much damage can be done. Uh, if she had it, of course she would deal more damage, but it, it probably wouldn't be that much more. Rosa Hargana is actually quite helpful, I don't know how many dual attacks she actually triggered. Uh, next in line we have uh, Angelique Momorancy. She's built for PvP with, uh, well, pretty much 200% effect resistance with her self-memory imprint. And I like her this way. I can have a good balance of defense and health. So uh, I know she's not going to get defense broken. So I can actually fully use her defense. And I don't have to worry about her uh, getting her defense reduced by 70%. Which is uh, extremely rough when it happens. But yeah, I mean Rosa Organa for Seaside is definitely like doing a lot of damage as well. It depends on the dual attacks, but it works for her passive, her skill too. I don't have her limited artifact. Anyways, that's going to be it for this one, guys. I will do some showcases for Batiste when he hits level 60. I just wanted to show you guys uh, how he performs with uh, this gear right now. And uh, of course, Daydream Joker was a big part of the damage, but... Uh, I feel like a very solid hero. Those debuffs, the, the AoE from the Rock Smash, 
uh, yeah, I saw a lot of potential in this hero when I uh, w when he first got released, and uh, I did want it to uh, showcase him before, but uh, just a quick video for you guys. So, anyways, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'm Astronox. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. Press the bell icon like to be notified whenever I release a new video, and check out my other videos. They should be showing up on the screen. Now I got playlists of all sorts, uh, PvE and PvP, Arena, Guild Wars, Guides, Sips and Autos, uh, Bistroy 62 Plus, I got Best Starter Guides for early game to mid game players, so uh, check that out if you haven't, and also join my Discord server, almost a thousand members now, so come join the fun, and that's really it for this one, good luck with all you do, peace out for now.